All right, so right now we're going to show you how to integrate MailChimp into a Facebook page. One of the first things you're going to do is open up two tabs, have a Facebook page open, and have your MailChimp open be signed into both. First thing you want to do is create a list for your Facebook page people. Here you can see I created a Facebook group um, for the sign up. To do create a list, click on create list in the upper corner, create list, give it a list name, default email, default from name, and a reminder as to how people got on your list. Once you do that, you're going to want to go to account settings, go to extras, integrations, And once you're here, you're going to go to Facebook. Let me just disconnect quick so you can see this. So once you're there, click on login. I'm going to quick redirect you to Facebook, ask you to log in if you're not. And it's going to connect. So from here, you can select your page to use what list you want. That's going to be what list the, the uh, subscribers are going to be imported to. You can use your sign up form tab, yes, that's what you want. And your form theme, you can pick from forms you have created. Um, I'm going to use the Facebook one. And then you can name your tab. I'll show you what this is in a second. Once you save that, what that is going to do is that is going to name this tab right here. If you don't see this tab, what you want to do is search for MailChimp, the app, in the search bar. And you already have it, or I already have it, I should say, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, so it's there. That is pretty much how you integrate a Facebook page using MailChimp to subscribe to your email list. Now you can select a different page and select a different list. So with that being said, if you manage multiple pages and you want to have multiple lists for different pages, or you can put them all on um, one page. Just for example, since I haven't done this one, let's come here and do that. And click Preview and Facebook page. So the tab is automatically added. To change those forms, what you can do is come here and go to your list and click sign up forms. And you can use either the general or the embedded. Um, I use the general, kind of keep it simple. Uh, here we go. So if I were to, let's say I remove letting subscribers pick what they want. And saved. Now if I come here and I click sign up for newsletter. That is gone. Just to show you that again. There it is. Refresh. and it's back. So that is how you integrate MailChimp into Facebook uh, using pages. Any questions, comments, post below. Thank you.